Thanks for tuning in to The Adapters in Focus, a continuing conversation based on the book The Adapters, available right now on Amazon.com, fine booksellers everywhere, and lots of places online, as well as theadapters.net. Join us over there for even more great conversations and insights. I'm Glenn Hausman. That's Sean Worker. Sean, I am super excited. Live music seems to be back, and it happened in your former hometown. 5,000 people got together courtesy of the city getting together with the venue directors, putting together a bundled ticket that included testing that allowed everybody to go to the concert. Only six people failed the testing, got in, partied, and had a great time. But more's the point. There's two weeks that, over the next two weeks, they're going to come back with contact tracing and really tell us how it all went. Absolutely cool experiment to be doing. One that I think is rooted in safety and security for everybody's there. Mm. Think about what would have happened if those six people got in. But by smart planning, by adapting to changes in the marketplace, changes in health, boy, oh boy, people got to have a good time for the first time in quite too long. Yeah, this is where collaboration works. And this is a big education moment for TTH, travel, tourism, and hospitality to learn how to collaborate locally, to fix things that are really a global problem. So I'm sure we'll talk about this more in our short takes. We absolutely will. Now, the, the, uh, when you're looking at the global con concert series out there, summer is going to be super important. This might be the keystone in getting people back to it. But Sean, there's other places this applies. This applies on Broadway, in the West End. This applies at conferences and all sorts of events, don't you think? It's, it's a real learning curve for us. And this is a big step because look, at the end of the day, that worked because people need to get back to work and we need to get people moving and get people playing and having some fun and listen to music. So the big takeaways here and the short takes really is that we got to collaborate. We got to look around us and over the fence as we've talked about frequently in the book to find the best ways to tackle this problem. And we've pretty much given up our privacy in favor of going to see Coldplay. Well, I don't know if I do it for Coldplay, but there are certain bands that I would gladly give my uh, privacy up for. But what's interesting is something that didn't seem to make any sense a year and a half ago seems awfully logical right now. And that is the hallmark of adapting, changing, and meeting the changes that we all need to get back to business in a post-COVID world. Yeah, you know, we need to think about how to look over the fence. And this can be done for bars and restaurants, municipalities, having zones that are safe zones. You can do the same thing for 50 restaurants in a downtown, just the same as you can do for a concert. It takes that collaboration to do that. Cruises, think about cruises getting on and off, probably the safest place cruises have ever been if they do pre-testing in the way that this concert group did. This extends to conferences, extends to small meetings. It, it, this, is, this is a big step for us to learn from this, probably for the rest of, Certainly my working life, this could be the new reality. Yes, that's absolutely true. So we want to kick it out to you adapters out there. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. How will this make positive change? Or conversely, do you feel this is an adaption that shouldn't be made? Let us know. Thanks for watching.